Dracula, in life you did one deed, which at once cast you out from all hope. You poisoned the pure font of mercy, and not upon such as you can the downy freshness of heaven's bounty fall. Live henceforth a being accursed, armed against all men, and all men armed against thee. Our story begins with a time to change all things, tempora et omnipotata. Imagine, if you will, this small cloud somewhere in the United States of America. It is a bright, sunny day. Bird song can be heard in the field outside. And our sweet, but vulnerable young school teacher introducing her class to the mysteries of world geography. Please stand. Why, that's just fine. Well, children, here we are in a small classroom somewhere in the United States of America. It is a bright, sunny day. Birds on the head and fields outside. and introducing you to the mysteries of well geometry and <laughs> geography. Wow! Now, have your notebooks ready, because I tend to get carried away. Are you ready? Sure. Fine. This here is Europe, and this here is the Mediterranean Ocean. Wow! Passengers for Transylvanian Airways flight to Europe, please report to boarding barrier 27.
flight 675 for Europe is now ready for takeoff. This flight stops at Paris, Heidelberg, and Carlafia, Transylvania. Bon voyage, goodbye, off we descend. Don't say we didn't warn you. Please pass. Oops, and no playing Billy Cyrus. Here we go.
May I introduce myself? Oh, please, please do, uh, Mistress Lando. Mistress Lando, indeed. Conceived in this dark place and swatting with lust, rejected by my father, and a victim of vengeance and hatred created by my mother. Tis I who lead you through the mist, in his waiting carriage. Come, come quickly, the night draws in fast. It is not wise to go on the road late. Put those bags of lock to scum. Come, come, my lady. Climb aboard the carriage. We must be away.
Leute hier waren zu Dampf und Lappen. Sie hat das Mädchen von zu Tür und Mutter Brot. Hat sie sich gehört zu Brot und Gallis? Why, I can't. The children are in the little bath of this year. And this seems a splendid opportunity for some practical field work. Please continue. It sounds most fascinating and deforming. Deforming? Informing, of course. Very well, but first charge up your glasses and sing this lick as it calls us a lovely, lovely song. It's a lovely, lovely. Thank <laughs> you. 
see each other, we will be happy. Indeed, indeed. A magnificent, a magnificent spread, dear friend. It's not in here for a holiday. So I think perhaps. Thanks so far. We hope to visit some of your lovely towns and maybe now to start the excursion to the ancient castles. I would bet you know further than lovely towns, Nadia. There are many superstitions appertaining to some of our castles. It's not wise to search too deeply into their origins. This is out to the first. There are things here of this children should have no knowledge. Believe us. But surely it would be foolish not to extend our knowledge of European history whilst resident in Transylvania. Many visited the village that Count Dracula had returned to his castle, that he and his little mother had returned once again to feed on the people of our village. We should have no fear of him now. He has been there for 50 years, and the castle on the Black Lake stands empty, dead, or nearly sleeping. Well observed, Father. For the vampire may regain its powers, if it can but obtain the life of blood, it craves from one who is sufficiently pure and innocent. But is there no protection against such an evil creature of the jaws? The vampire fist both garlic with running water, glass and holy oil, the cross of our Lord, and the sharpened stake which brings everlasting death. It's horrible, horrible. gloom of the darkest grave, and my eyes have such a vision now, at this time of beauty and light, a jewel of rare quality. Mademoiselle, I see that you are a woman of some culture. You must forgive the coarseness of this riffraff. These stories of an evil reputation are but figments of their imagination. You are most shall not count. Beware, Nadia, do not be fooled by these fair words and flattery. The doctor, my dear, has never been a great admirer of me or my life's work, which is strange, for we are both in our ways experts in simple surgery. It must be something of a dying art, eh, doctor? Inhuman phantom! Why are you here? Be about your business and leave, or shall deal with me. Oh! Really, such insults! They put my teeth on edge. I could but possess some small part of the girl's belongings, some small trinket so I could have power over her. Then I could sump some of the life's blood I crave. Blood which is wasted on her pretty mindless body. My dear, my business is but a simple proposition. I am a man of immense wealth and would be willing to pay you handsomely if you would be so kind as to call it my ancestral home. I have a number of uh, daughters who are much in need of private tuition. I would be your undying master or servant if you would agree to give them some short lessons in, say, etiquette and deportment. I assure you they would be very willing pupils and hang on to your every word. I feel with your experience you can excite their interests and stir their blood. Yes, we should need some extra money for our vacation. Yes, I should be glad to accept 
accept your kind invitation. Splendid! I shall expect you tomorrow night for dinner then. I always have an exceptional appetite in the evenings. Forgive me, my dear. A sudden illness and all allergies from which I suffer from time to time. I shall look forward to our first lesson tomorrow night. Farewell! Nadia, wait for Miss Trance. My goodness me, I'm sorry. I must have been dreaming. You must not dream, child, nor gaze at me in vacant stare. Your dream was real enough, and I strongly advise you not to venture to the castle of Count Dracula. Listen well, Nadia. Father Estate speaks wise words. You're right. I should not go. But it seemed for a moment as if he had some power over my thoughts. No, I should not go. Tomorrow it will be sightseeing first, and then we must travel on. Good girl. Sensible, very, very sensible. And now I must travel on. No, Dr. Nick, we'd better if you stay here tonight and persuade our young teacher to forget about her promise to start evening classes. Good night, and God protect you in his infinite wisdom. Good night, Miss Rosa. Come, Gretchen, we too must sleep. Good night, Rosine, and we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, Hans, you are right. I have the bottles ready. <laughs> good night, good friends. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Well. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Doctor, I found tonight's effects conflicting and confusing. It is confusing. Oh, confusing, yeah. Nadia. You see, there exist certain beings whose very lives seem bound by invisible chains to the supernatural. Count Dracula is such a one. He seeks, therefore, the solitude of his castle, save for his crazed mother, the Countess Rape, and his faithful servant, Genghis. You seem to know an awful lot about him. I do. My studies have convinced me that vampirism is not physical, but supernatural. There is, of course, only one cure for such an occult disease. A cure? What in heaven's name? It is too terrible to relate to such innocent ears. Come, enough of this talk. You must rest. Give me your hand. You are very gallant, kind and gentle. Well, hush my mouth. Here I am, talking away to you, and I don't even know your first name. I hardly like to say. My name is Nicholas Orlando Erasmus Cecil Necrophilia. I know it is a stupid and ridiculous name. It is not at all. Heavens, what's in the name? It's just a string of words. I like you for what you are, Nicholas. Not your name. Good night now. What's in your name, she says. It's just a string of words. She takes me at face value. Thank you.
Good night, Doctor, with a funny name.